Jennifer Patelchik and her daughter Gretel were shot in their flurry at home by Mark Bombara, who was looking for his estranged wife. Among those laying flowers outside their home in Berkeley Crescent were Gretel's water polo teammates. And they were the most kindest, light-hearted, beautiful people. Jenny would rock up to water polo with chocolates for us all every day. We really want to remember them as like the people that they were rather than the whole incident or anything that's happened. Um, and just not think about that, but think about how beautiful they were as people. Just down the road, the Anglican Church opened its doors for members of the community in mourning. They are our neighbours. It is just such an awful loss and the whole community is feeling it. This affects every woman in Australia. Um, you know, I have granddaughters and I think, you know, what kind of world are they growing up in? The perpetrator, who killed himself after shooting the Patel chicks, has been identified as Mark James Bombara, who lived at his family home in Mosman Park. Neighbours have expressed shock and concern for his family members, dealing with the consequences of his actions. Well, everyone's in shock, like what's happened. So, a little bit nerve-wracking because it could happen anywhere. This man, if you could call him that, is a gutless, evil coward. Look at the picture of Jennifer and Gretel and tell me we don't need gun reform in Western Australia. Domestic violence experts say if a man has access to a gun, the risk to a woman's life increases. Where a weapon has been threatened to be used, used or a person has access to a weapon who has a history of perpetrating violence, that a woman is 20 times more likely to be murdered than a woman who has not had a weapon threatened against them. She says their deaths are a stark reminder of how far abusers will go to regain power and control. Ms Elat also says there needs to be urgent discussion around gun control. David Webber, ABC News.